going on everyone? Mitch, Chump Bucket Garage. We're back here. We're here with my lime green Mustang. And this is gonna be a little bit of video on why I bought a lime green one and not like an average color, like white or black, you know? So anyhow guys, it's 2013 Mustang GT, five liter Coyote in her. She's stick shift, obviously. I bought her probably about three and a half years ago. She's a little bit dirty, but can't keep them all like pristine clean, right? So we're running 305, I don't even know what size, 305, 3520s in the back? Oh, okay. And I, I know I'm running 275, 50, 20s in the front. 10 in the back, 8s in the front. Um, other than that, it's pretty much just a stock Mustang. So the reason why I picked the lime green, you don't see them that often. There's only a certain amount of them made, and at the time when I bought them, I didn't know that. It wasn't until me and Mason did some further digging into the production numbers of these. Um, I think there's only about, I think it was 2300 or something like that, that were hard top, so not convertible, manual, five liter Coyote with this green in 2013. So What's this green called? It's gotta have a green. Is what it's called it's a one-year color yeah it's a it's a no they did it 2014 so oh they did color after okay. that they didn't do it so the new gt500 color um it's a variant of this it's it's a few shades off uh it's more of like a tennis ball yellow um this has got more pearl in it and it's more of a lime green you don't um, have the sun out but yeah it does look nice there, in the sun you can really see the pearl in her right now it kind of looks not that nice but yeah and depends if you're <laughs> colorblind or not then you're just gonna think it's some weird color <laughs> But um, there, I bought it used, 50,000K on it when I bought it. Cold air intake, Magnaflow exhaust. Um, one big design flaw I did find out about this is cold air intake basically comes right from the intake all the way to here. And hood vents are actual hood vents. This isn't no uh, challenger here where my hood vents are just fake, Oof. but drips water on it. So then it starts causing the math to do a bunch of crazy shit. She starts backfiring like crazy. So that's an issue. No rain for this baby. Pop the hood. Show the show the setup that oh, yeah. the I'll flaw here. here. Yeah. So yeah, these are real hood vents, as you can see. So water can get into those. So I'll let you do if that. If you're gonna buy one of these and you're gonna do cold air intake, make sure you get her get go a down. cover. Yeah. Or go yeah, down. Cover. Or just don't do it. Because if you see here, guys, hood vents, intake, right? Got that Roche intake. But yeah, so water just gets into there. Big old coyote sucks her in and she runs like shit. Pretty much, yeah. So, other than that guys, take you guys for a quick burn and then we'll go over the car a little bit more on what it's like to own one. Um, and yeah, and why he I guess chose I this. Over, I guess I can go over, over a little a bit of that. classic. Yeah, I, I mean at the time, I wanted something you know that just scooted. I didn't want a racer, I was sick of the racers, unfortunately, front wheel drive, not my thing. Rear wheel drive, a lot more fun. 420 horsepower at the crank from stock um, 390 torque I believe and she's got a positive rear end from factory so can't really go wrong with one of these other than the fact that everybody absolutely hates you and it's honestly a little bit embarrassing seeing other Mustang drivers wave at you because it's like oh I own a Mustang <laughs> yeah <laughs> but it well. is what it is guys so go for a quick scoot here and uh, we'll do a little bit more at the end of the video for you guys Alright guys, so we're just pulling up on the highway here. We're gonna do a little burn for you. So now we're back at Mason's after the little scoot there. Um, so yeah, you guys saw, she slides pretty good. Pretty fun car to drive, honestly. Um, one of the main reasons why I ended up buying it was uh, in 2010, I think it was, they came out with a new body style and I was in, uh, I think junior high. And then they uh, came out with the, these ones, which was a 13, because 10 to 12, and they had 13 to 14 body style. 
And these ones, I remember seeing when I was in grade 10, and I was like, holy crap, I really liked them. I like one of my favorite muscle cars is either a 69 GT350 Mustang or a 72 to 74 Mach 1. So I've always been a little bit of a Mustang fan. I'm not a big Ford guy at all, just the Mustangs for the most part. Um, and that's honestly, like I wanted one that wasn't run of the mill. Like I mean, you still do see the green ones, but not as much as you'll see a silver one. Um, I did test drive, I think it was a 2010 Challenger with the 5.7 Hemi in it. And I hated how the car felt. It was an auto, it felt like a big boat. Um, you couldn't see anything out the back window, like huge blind spots, didn't like it at all. And when I was, I think, yeah, I was 20 years old and I was looking and I was like, nah, just wasn't doing it for me. Um, and then I went and test drove a 2011 Camaro SS. Um, and I'd been in a V6 one before, my buddy had one. And again, like huge blind spots, but this one felt chopped. Like it felt like the, the, the roof, you sat higher it almost felt like and the roof was very small so it just felt like it was a weird drive and like it just i don't know it wasn't doing anything for me either good power and i am a chevy guy but with the new stuff i just wasn't i wasn't digging it um and then i went and test drove i think it was an 05 gt convertible and you know kind of the same thing i was like i don't really like the power now the difference between the camaro ss and the the Mustang that I test drove was like 150 horsepower. So it was a big difference. And then I, I drove by this every day to work. <laughs> and eventually I just went in, I test drove it and she already had a loud exhaust on it. it already had fat tires and I was like, oh, I gotta have it. And right there, I signed my life away. <laughs> so um, at the time I wasn't, um, I wasn't super into fixing up cars and stuff like that. Like I'd owned a Dodge Stealth, I owned two Mark II Supras, um, that was about it. Uh, and I, I was starting to get into classics more after I started owning this because when you go to a car car meet or whatever, you really start to appreciate the classics. Well, I do at least, and I know Mason does too, and that's why so much of our content is classics. So hindsight, I honestly probably would have blew the 26 grand on an old muscle car, like, like, a, like a Le Mans or something that's already done or whatever, but this is still really fun to drive. I can hop in, crank it, fires right up. Um, I've had to do basically no maintenance to it other than oil changes. Um, it's been super reliable. I had to change the battery this year. I think it was the original uh, Motorcraft battery from 2013. Um, yeah, it's just something you can hop in and go and go scoot around and have fun in. It's a fun car. It, do I think it's super special? No. 30 to 40 years from now, maybe who knows kind of thing, but I didn't buy it with the intent of that. I just bought it to have fun in it and go rip around and do some skids and stuff like that. And she'll definitely lay the fucking, lay some 11s if you, you really give her. So um, if you guys are looking for a Mustang, I definitely suggest going with um, these, these ones have, haven't depreciated too, too much. I bought mine at 26 and that was in 2017. I think they're about 20, 18 to 20 right now. Um, you can still get them low kilometers. I know you can get the Laguna Seca version. You can get the Boss Zero 2 version. Um, there's different versions you can get, etc. Um, but overall, it's a good year. And uh, the Coyote, when it came out, that was the first year they really kind of put it out in the cars and everything like that. I think it had already been in the Fords, but it wasn't the same. It was similar five liter. I think the heads are different or something like that. But realistically, they didn't have any recall problems or anything like that. Like it's not a junk motor, which is also good because I know the Tritons were pretty bad. So yeah, guys, if you're looking for one, I highly suggest these years, the 13 to 14. Um, other well, like, than that. Yeah, the tunability on yeah, them, Yeah, the right? tunability like, too. I mean, um, in my opinion, LS is still a better engine. Um, if I were to build a new motor, I would build a five liter Coyote, just because I, I think they sound better. Um, and I think I just, I like them. I honestly do. But again, I'm not a Ford guy. If I was going for like 1200 horsepower, reliable, LS all day. But if I was going for a nice 800 horsepower build, I'd choose the five liter. Um, so yeah, other than that, guys, I think that's about it. Like, um, not much to say about it. Like, it's a it's a newer vehicle. We don't, you guys don't really see newer vehicles on the channel, but we thought maybe you guys would be interested in just taking a look at one of the newer ones that we have. Yeah, the green does look good on the camera, though. Like, it's a nice green. Like, yeah. So yeah, fucking. Quick yeah, walk around, and <laughs> yeah, they're getting bad out here. So yeah, guys, that's pretty much gonna wrap up 
the I guess Mitch's tour of his Mustang and yeah. also real quick sorry quick here it's still got a solid rear axle in it they changed the independent I believe 2015 or 2016 um, so for drag racing if you're gonna do one up to drag race these are the ones to have the last years of the uh, solid axle that's what you want yeah not independent um, but yeah guys so yeah anyways that basically can end the video here <laughs> All right, guys, well, it's pretty much going to end it. That was Mitch showing off his Mustang. Let's we'll see what this video does. We've been, haven't really been putting out many videos. Been a little bit lazy, honestly. Yeah, and after the SS one, I think we're at 2K now. Yeah, And the other SS. ones, the other two videos that followed it with my Dodge and some other stuff was like, like 10. Seven, yeah. <laughs> seven or 10. No views, but our, my 454 video did pretty good. So hopefully lots of Mustang fanboys will check this out. And uh, yeah, till next time, we'll get one out sooner.